Exire search just got better. Let's look what's new. Hi, it's Peter here. And we have to start with the disclaimer. Exire sent me this software before Christmas. They did not tell me to do this video, nor have they said what I need to discuss in this video. So everything I say are my own opinion based on using Exire search 2022 and now the 2024 version about a month. I also attended their affiliate briefing where they showed me the new features of this software and I do have affiliate links in the description if you're interested in getting the software. Exire Shirts 2024 is a plugin for Lightroom. If you don't have Lightroom or want to use the standalone version then Exire Photo 2024 is the software for you and I do have a video about it over there if you want to watch that if you prefer the standalone version. So if you want to have a plugin and a standalone version, you need two separate software. Then what is Exire Search 2024? It is a database and search engine. It initializes your catalog and adds keywords to them. So you don't need to add keywords manually in Lightroom. You can do it with Exire Search and then you can uh, transfer those keywords to Lightroom Classic if you feel like that. But it's not necessary. You can use the Exire Search database for the search. So if you have a lot of images and are bad or, or and you're bad in, in making those keywords in Lightroom like I am, this is a very good help for that. Well, what's new in Exire Search 2024 compared to 2022? Now, first of all, the AI has been improved, so the results are better than in the previous version. Of course, there is progress in that because AI has gotten better and more precise in doing the searches. And it has been trained with lots and lots of images so that it knows what certain things are. And then there is the new prompt search where you can search more descriptive text so you don't have to have the keywords. But it can understand some written text so you can find images easier. And then it has the aesthetics score. It uh, determines how good the images are by aesthetics and ranks them. Uh, yeah, I will talk about that a bit later, how that works and what I think about that. And then it has a much improved duplicate finder. So you might have a lot of similar or duplicate images, dupli duplicate images in your database and it can found them and then you can, you know, do what you want, either save them or, 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 or I mean, keep them or delete them. It's all up to you, but I will talk about that next. But first, the, the user interface is the same as it used to be in 2022 version of this software. Except, of course, there are a few more tools to work with. And I do have several videos about Exire in my channel, and you can watch the play it's playlist from there if you feel like that and want to learn more about Exire software. And let's next talk about the duplicate finder. I have about 380,000 images in my Lightroom catalog. Yes, pretty much all my digital files that I've ever made with digital camera. I know it might not be the wisest thing to have everything in the same catalog, but you know, that's the way I've done it. And there must be a lot of duplicates, not because I've uh, saved the same images several times, but when I use plugins like Topaz AI or uh, DxO Pure Raw or testing different uh, software where Lightroom is the main software and then the software that I use is a plugin. It makes a duplicate and finding this of course is something that I can do. I did find 10,000 duplicates so not that much and I will keep them because they are variations of the same image only the editing is slightly different so I'm gonna keep them and it took me about seven minutes to find but of course I do have a pretty uh, good computer or powerful computer. It's the Mac Studio with M2 Ultra processor. So it didn't take that much time to find those. It does it in, in parts. First, it finds the images and then it asks me if you want to make the collections out of those images. And then it makes a collection and you have them in a collection, which of course can be deleted later if you want. And you can delete the images if you feel like it or keep them. And I will keep them because they are not duplicates in a way that I have the same file twice there. They are there because there are different variations of the same image. And then the aesthetic score. Well, first of all, I really don't feel that this is something that I will use. It's nice to have and you can check the images and like I did in Exire Photo, it will find 
pretty images, like saturated colors and good compositions and like that. So, but the problem with these type of uh, scores are that they don't understand the context of the image. They don't know why it was made because some image might not be aesthetically really good, but it might have a good story and it might relate to things or it might be a proper thing with some text around it in, in a story or the image itself has a story. So it, those, it not, or it cannot find those type of images. It only looks for pretty images. And, you know, for me, that's, uh, it's a bit cheesy. And most of the things that it can find or make, uh, not find, but to make or, or think that are the best, best images are big cliches. And that's why I personally do not prefer this type of aesthetics. I think a human being is better in that sense. It can find the good images. But it's an interesting way of looking at images and, and see if what images are good and not, which are not that good when it comes to aesthetics. And my 2023 images gave me this result. And if you want to see the ones that I liked, take a look at that video where I go through my best images from 2023. Well, what are your thoughts on these type of aesthetic scores? Is there any point or do you find any use for that? Please let us know in the comments down below because, to be honest, I don't. And prompt search. This was introduced in Photo 2024, Exire Photo 2024, and now it's also in the plugin version Search 2024. And this is a way to find images in a different way. You don't need the keywords, you just write something descriptive, te descriptive text and then it can find the images based on the text prompt. And it works pretty well and it makes it more versatile so you don't have to kind of know the keywords. You can just write something and, and it can find the images. The price. The regular price will be 189 US dollars. There is a time limited launch price of 149 US dollars. Not sure how long that lasts. So if you need that, use the affiliate code and uh, or the affiliate link and buy the software as soon as possible because I don't know how long that launch price will be. And for existing Exire's 2022 users, the price is only 59 euro, uh, 59 US dollars. And for Exire Search users or the Exire Search 2 users, the price is 99 US dollars. Is it worth it? Yes, if you already have the previous version, then definitely it is worth upgrading because this is a better software than the previous one and the price is only 59 or 99 depending on what version you have and yes if you have lots and lots of images like i do finding those images makes uh, or, or is a lot easier with xirs 2024 than you know doing it manually and yes if you are very bad at keywording your images then this will do it automatically for you is it perfect of course not but I have found it to be good enough for me to find the images from all those 380,000 images. It can find me the images that I need and that's good for me. If there are some bad results after 100 images, who cares? And more information about Exire. If you do not have Lightroom, then use Exire Photo 2024. I have a video about it over there. And also the, the other link or the end screen link is to the, uh, the playlist of Exire videos that I have or videos about Exire that I have on my channel. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.